There she goes. For the last several years, Memorial Day weekend has meant revved up engines and crumpled metal in the distant neighborhood in Chesapeake. But entertainment for some is a nuisance for others on Cobb Avenue. And on your side first brought you this car crushing controversy back in May. But there were questions about whether it's legal. Well, tonight, the city's zoning board put the issue to rest. Sitting aside, Orin Lieberman is here with what they decided. Orin. Alvita and Tom, a lot of people at tonight's meeting focused on fun, safety, personal freedom. But that's not what this meeting was about. This was a zoning appeals meeting. And on that point, the city won. When Ryan Harrell tried to have fun on his nice suburban street, he ran into some problems, like how you define fun and street. Five years of doing it, never had a problem. Police don't have a problem with it. Fire marshal don't have a problem with it. We're safe. Harold turns his front lawn every Memorial Day into a car crushing celebration for friends and family. Police even made sure Harold wasn't breaking any laws, which is why he was shocked to find out he was violating zoning codes, holding a commercial event in a residential neighborhood. Basically, I think they're just going to turn it the way they want to do it. And I'm just going to lose. It's just the way it is. An appeal of the decision led to a board meeting where Harold's friends backed him up. Thomas Everett spoke of safety. These are all street legal trucks with insurance, Virginia Valley State inspections. Michael Waterfield spoke of freedom. In order for us to use or to utilize the vehicles that we've built, the time and effort that we've put into them, we have to drive to a complete another state. I think that's ridiculous. But the issue on Cobb Avenue was zoning. The zoning ordinance that we have indicates that this is not permitted on a residential property. Mr. Lane? Yes. The board voted five to nothing to yes. uphold the zoning violation as Harold and his yes. friends promised to fight this their way. Madam Chair. Harold says he will appeal the decision to circuit court. We'll keep you posted. Orrin Lieberman, 10 on your side.